absolutely. It's absolutely correct. The hormone optimization is crucial for your mood because no no man feels good with low testosterone levels. That's just, and that's just one hormone. Hormones that are important. The DHA is just as important for your mood. Pregnenolone is just as important for your mood. So there's there's many other hormones. Hormones are an orchestra. It's not just one thing. And women often think, okay, I need my estrogen optimal and testosterone as low as possible. Men think I need my testosterone high and my estrogen as low as possible. I mean, if your estrogen goes too low as a guy, you have no sex drive, you have no sex function, you're just poor, your bone health. Basically, all the symptoms of low testosterone you're going to experience with really low estrogen no, levels. No matter how high your testosterone is, you could have testosterone through the roof, but if your estrogen is too low, you're not going to feel like you have high testosterone. So it's way more nuanced and complex than right, these old right. things that we often see. But what are men always told? It goes, okay, you need to increase testosterone and here's how to do it. And most of the time that's, that's probably true. You probably do need to increase it. But what about all the other hormones? What about improving insulin sensitivity and leptin sensitivity and improving growth hormone and melatonin? You know, there's so many other facets to it. But when you make this orchestra work in a symphony, then, then you really start feeling like a million bucks. All of a sudden, your workout progress is way faster. Your mood is better. Your motivation's higher. Whether you want to build strength or put on muscle, these are not things that take forever anymore. Now you can get results way faster, almost right. as if when you were younger. You know, that's why right. it's so compelling to people because they, they don't give instant results as in you take a shot at testosterone and you build muscle. But for someone who's had low testosterone for a long time and they start taking testosterone replacement, it's going to be night and day for that person. The problem is, is you shut down your own production. If, so I don't recommend it for young men, but at a certain age, it's it's the best option in terms of what's available right now when natural methods don't work. Because when the natural methods don't work, that doesn't mean that you just accept having suboptimal levels. That's the time to go into that replacement stage. That it makes sense. But again, Mike, a lot of people, and especially if it comes to men, they wouldn't want to accept it. That they need it to be supplemented. Because again, then whole this ego comes in, you know, that, oh shit, how can this be? I mean, like, it's as normal as you being diabetic. It's not as normal as your thyroid hormone not functioning. So you you do take medicine for it. You, you supplement similar phase. Yeah. No, I get that completely. I mean, I got into hormone optimization because... <laughs> I was dealing with hormonal issues myself. I was experiencing not low testosterone, but suboptimal testosterone and a bunch of other issues as well. And then I've always I've dealt with lifelong depression as well. And when, when you optimize hormones, it makes it improves your mood dramatically. So it, it makes it easier to manage mental health struggles as well. But as a result of going through what a lot of other men are going through and learning how to address those things in a different approach than a traditional doctor. They'll just look at numbers on a piece of paper and give you different drugs or hormones replacement to improve those numbers. And that's an okay approach at some point. But when it's with younger people just starting off, let's focus on improving your diet, your restoration, your stress, and making sure that training is enhancing, not another source of depleting you. Because a lot of people are addicted to the, the, the stimulus of training or where it negative. Now you're training so much that you're lowering testosterone, you're lowering growth hormone, you're in increasing insulin resistance and leptin resistance. You're it's having a negative impact on you. So it's, it's good to have gone through that because I get it when other people have the issues. And now I'm on the side where my hormones have been pretty optimal for a long time because I really dial this in. I make it, I mean, my whole lifestyle is on optimizing hormones. So I get to sleep, I eat properly, I train properly, I take all the right supplements because I want to embody the information I put out there. And more importantly, I just want to feel good. I want to look good and I want to feel good. So I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I understand how they feel, but I also understand where they can possibly go as well. I go, I, I've been where you've been. You haven't been where I've been though. So let, or where I am now. So let me take you to where I am because I promise you just improving is going to have a tremendous impact in everything you're doing. Really, any any adversity I've been through, I've always I've been able to flip into a positive. Whether it's you know I went through child abuse when I was a kid, I was able to flip that and help people that have been through that, and then also understand my mo my own mental health more profoundly doing that. My face got sunburned really bad, so I got this scar on my face where I lost all this pigment here. And then one day I realized, hey, the hair grows out white. I bet that would look pretty cool. 
Yeah, so I, yeah, you do. The white goatee, now I have the beard. So, but but I understand people with, I, I, like, I don't have Vita Ligo, but that's what it looks like. So, but I understand the insecurities that come with drastic changes in your physical appearance. I understand how that can be difficult. Because I remember people would tell me, they're like, oh, it's not a big deal. It doesn't look that bad. I go, well, that's easy for you to say because you don't have it. But I promise you, if one day you didn't have this and then you have a serious sunburn and then the next day you have this, that's what happened with me, that's a dramatic change in your physical appearance. And it's not easy to adapt to that change rapidly, but it is possible to adapt to it. So that's so so in a lot of ways, I'm all the 